Hello everybody, Waffle Time here. At long last, you've defeated the fear-inducing boss Plantera. The world is safe. Everything's at peace now. Incorrect, it gets about a million times worse. Upon defeating Plantera, you pick up a temple key, and now you must defeat the relentless and unstoppable force of Gollum himself. He's made for destruction, and he's completely unstoppable. There is no way at all to beat him. Or is there? Here are five simple steps to make defeating Gollum a total cakewalk. Let's get started. Step one is going to be to get some good armor. Now, unfortunately, we are well past the mechanical boss armor sets and need to go to the next level. That's going to be either turtle armor for melee, shroomite armor for ranged, or specter armor for magic. I'm sure this goes without saying, but make sure you have a weapon good enough to beat Gollum. Personally, I'm still going to be using the Mega Shark with i bullets. Works like a charm. For all these great sets, you'll need Chlorophyte bars, and you can find Chlorophyte ore in the underground jungle. Just be sure to make yourself a pickaxe axe with hollowed bars and one of each soul from the mechanical bosses. Now, to get the turtle armor, you'll need to create your set with Chlorophyte bars and a turtle shell on each armor piece. The turtle shells can be found from tortoises in the jungle. It's a rare drop, but very worth it. The defense is very high. For the Shroomite armor, which I'm actually going for, you'll need to build an above ground mushroom biome and get your truffle NPC to move in there. You'll need to buy the auto hammer from him and combine your chlorophyte bars with 15 glowing mushrooms each to make Shroomite bars. Go ahead and make your armor right out of that. Last but not least, for Spectre armor, you'll also need chlorophyte bars. But, instead, you'll be combining them with ectoplasm, which you can get from killing powerful monsters in the dungeon. As you can see, it all comes down to chlorophyte. If you can't find that much in your underground jungle at first, just AFK for a while. Chlorophyte is fantastic because it spreads over time, so it just gets easier and easier to find the more you wait. Once you have your new, powerful, and awesome armor, you'll need to find the Lizard Temple. Now, I've had worlds where it's around the first corner in the underground jungle, and I've had worlds where it doesn't even seem to exist and it takes me ages to find it. One tip I found insanely helpful is taking it back to our roots and throwing bombs in a straight line all the way down through the underground jungle. It may be tedious, but it definitely gets the job done. i found temples many times this way before. If, for the life of you, you can't seem to find it, go ahead and pay your demolitionist to visit and grab some bombs. You'll find it soon enough. Step 3 is going to be to make your way to the entrance and unlock the door with a temple key that dropped from Plantera to get to the altar. I highly suggest bringing a piece of wire with you. This place is rigged up to the brim with traps. You can buy a piece of wire from the mechanic, it reveals the myriad of traps that are laid out in the temple, and it is so helpful. Also, be sure to loot all the chests you can in here. They contain lizard power cells which are used at the altar to summon Gollum himself. You can also get lizard power cells from killing the lizard temple exclusive monsters. At long last, you've arrived at the altar. This goes right into step 4, which is to set your arena up for your battle with Gollum. What you'll want to do is make a horseshoe shape all the way around the altar itself and leave quite a bit of space around it. Use platforms, but don't connect them all the way to the walls. You'll need a passageway to fall down once the lasers start flying. Once you're done with that, go ahead and place a bunch of random blocks like a complete madman all over and around the altar. Don't be sparing, just place like a complete lunatic. It's fun. Once you have a whole bunch of blocks placed sporadically everywhere like this, don't be afraid to break a couple blocks here and there in order to get a better shot to the inside, but still, keep it pretty tight near the center. Also, don't be afraid to throw down some bonfires or heart lanterns as you please. This brings us to our final and our very favorite step, drink your buff potions and summon and kill Gollum. As you can see, our lovely arena format causes him to get stuck in the blocks. He may jump up a few blocks, but that's no problem. I always take out one arm first and then go right for the head. After a while, you'll see he begins to fire lasers. Now this is where you want to fly up and down that side passage in order to dodge his laser beam burst. Here's a warning, don't fly to the other side after you've taken off his head completely. Otherwise, as you may have seen during my first fight with him, it'll enable his head to escape his mud block captivity and it'll follow you around and shoot lasers rather than just be stuck in the corner of the box. As you can see, I grinded them out a handful of times. He has great loot and it gets easier and easier as you make small fixes to your arena. Keep an eye on your health, shoot as much as you can, grind as mass amount of health down, and now congratulations because you have single-handedly defeated Gollum. As quick as that was, that's going to be all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or tips, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I try to respond to all you guys. Good luck in your battles, and I'll see you guys next time.